Our Earth is home to a vast and impressive array of life forms, and each of them play a pivotal role in maintaining our ecological balance, which is why their existence is important. Today, there are roughly 8.7 million species of plants and animals around, but only around 1.2 million of those have been identified, meaning millions of living organisms remain a complete mystery to us. However, there are several species on the brink of extinction due to both human-induced and natural factors. Extinction refers to the complete disappearance of a species from Earth, and while species go extinct every year, the rate has been historically been very slow. We've only seen exceptions during significant events, such as asteroid strikes and volcanic eruptions, which have been reported to cause widespread extinctions over relatively short periods. One of the five largest mass extinction events is thought to have killed off dinosaurs for good, but human influence has a grinding down effect. In this video, we're going to explore the most endangered species of 2024. Sumatran Rhino Sumatran rhinos are the smallest of the living rhinoceroses and the only Asian rhino with two horns. They are covered with long hair and are more closely related to the extinct woolly rhinos than any of the other rhino species alive today. In 1986, it was believed there could have been as many as 800 Sumatran rhinos remaining in the wild. Now, more than 38 years later, official estimates suggest there are as few as 34 to 47 rhinos left in the wild. The Sumatran rhino has not had an easy ride. Research from Marshall University in West Virginia recently shed light on just how long the Sumatran rhino population has been having difficulties. It seems that their numbers declined dramatically due to the climate shift as long as 9,000 years ago and have not managed to bounce back since. Sumatran rhinos compete with the Javan rhino for the uninviable title of most threatened rhino species. While surviving in possibly greater numbers than the Javan rhino, Sumatran rhinos are more threatened due to habitat loss and fragmentation. The remaining animals survive in small, fragmented, non-viable populations, and with limited possibilities to find each other to breed, its population decline continues. Just two captive females have reproduced in the last 15 years. Red Wolf Red wolves are among the most endangered carnivores in the world. Once spread across the U.S. Southeast, these clever and highly adaptive predators suffered a similar fate to that of their gray wolf cousins. People relentlessly persecuted them, to the extent that, in 1980, after the capture of the last remaining red wolves for a captive breeding program, the species was declared extinct in the wild. In 1987, four pairs of red wolves were released in the Alligator River National Wildlife Refuge in Dare County, North Carolina. The Red Wolves reintroduction program was considered one of the world's most innovative and successful efforts to restore a critically endangered carnivore, and by 2006, the wolves' population had reached 130. Unfortunately, since then their population has declined drastically. Red Wolves are classified as critically endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. The species has been reduced to a single wild population of fewer than 20 known individuals in eastern North Carolina. Mismanagement, illegal killing, and hybridization with coyotes threaten red wolves with extinction. These wolves used to outcompete coyotes, but when they were pushed out of the wild, the coyotes moved in on their former territory. Not only are red wolves now mating with coyotes, they're often mistaken for coyotes and shot. Their persecution by private landowners and livestock operators continues too. South China Tiger the South China Tiger is a majestic big cat that once prowled the dense forests of southern China. Renowned for its regal stature and striking appearance, this tiger subspecies holds significant cultural and historical importance in Chinese folklore and traditions. It is characterized by its slightly smaller size compared to other tiger subspecies, with males typically weighing around 330 pounds and females around 240 pounds. The South China Tiger's coat features narrow black stripes spaced farther apart than those of other tiger subspecies, lending it a distinctive and elegant appearance. Once widespread across its native range, the South China Tiger's population has plummeted dramatically due to rampant hunting, habitat loss, and fragmentation. Most experts agree it is functionally extinct in the wild, which means there aren't enough tigers left in the wild, if there are any left in the wild, for a sustainable population. 
the reality is that no South China tiger has been seen in the wild for the last 30 to 40 years. Yet, in the 1970s, it was estimated that there were over 4,000 South China tigers in the wild living mostly in central and eastern China. However, they were considered pests by the Chinese government, who quickly hunted them to their current status of being on the brink of extinction. By 1987, the remnant wild population of these tigers was estimated at 30 to 40 individuals. Efforts to conserve this critically endangered species include captive breeding programs, habitat restoration initiatives, and anti-poaching measures. Despite these efforts, the future of the South China tiger remains uncertain, underscoring the urgent need for continued conservation action to ensure the survival of this iconic big cat for future generations to admire and cherish. In 2021, the estimated 200 remaining tigers are all offspring of six wild tigers captured between 1958 and 1970. They are all living in Chinese zoos or breeding centers. Vaquita Mexico's Gulf of California, one of the most biodiverse places on the planet, teems with 891 species of fish and a third of the world's cetacean species including the smallest and most endangered porpoise on Earth, the vaquita. Scientists say there are likely only 10 vaquitas left on Earth. Their extinction is virtually assured without bold immediate action. Vaquitas are about the size of small humans, topping out at 5 feet long and 120 pounds, with black borders around their expressive eyes and rounded mouths. They are known to be shy and elusive, but all too easy to scoop up in fishing nets. The vaquitas' numbers have plummeted from 200 in 2012. Their primary threat is entanglement in fishing gear, including a net set for the totoaba, a large and endangered fish endemic to the Gulf. Totoaba swim bladders are illegally exported to Asia to make soup, perceived to have medicinal properties. Demand for the bladders spiked around 2011. A single bladder can reportedly sell for between $2,500 and $10,000. The demand means even more vaquita entangling nets in the water. In response to international pressure, in 2015, Mexico announced a new two-year ban on gill nets in the Gulf to protect the vaquita. But the remoteness of the Gulf, ringed by high cliffs and dotted with hundreds of desolate islands, has made it challenging to police, particularly given the involvement of drug cartels in the illegal Totoaba trade. And Mexico has a sad history of announcing plans to save the vaquita but failing to follow through with enforcement. Amur Leopard The Amur Leopard might be the rarest big cat in the world, found in just a small swath of land where Russia, China, and North Korea meet. The Amur Leopard is famously secretive, which is how it stalks its prey and protects itself from poachers. Like all leopard subspecies, the Amur Leopard is covered by rosette markings across its coat. The coloration of leopards varies with their surrounding environment, and as the Amur leopard lives in the most northerly environment of all leopard subspecies, in winter, its coat becomes paler than other subspecies. In 2000, a survey of Amur leopards found that as few as 30 individuals remained in the wild, leaving the species critically close to extinction. Since that survey, a concerted effort by conservation groups and the governments of Russia and China has helped the population rebound. There are probably fewer than 200 Amur leopards left in the wild, making this possibly the world's rarest cat. The largest Amur leopard population resides in the land of the leopard, where there were 121 leopards in December 2023. Other populations are likely much smaller. Human activity has pushed the Amur leopard to extinction. A rapid population decline was observed in the 20th century, mainly due to excessive hunting declining of prey species, and marginalization of habitat resources," wrote the authors of the 2022 study on leopard scat. The International Union for Conservation of Nature, or IUCN, Red List, named the Amur leopard critically endangered in 2008. And although conservation efforts have led to modest population increases, these big cats are still under threat. Gobi Bear the Gobi Bear, scientifically known as Ursus arctos gobiensis, is a brown bear subspecies found exclusively in Mongolia's Gobi Desert. Also referred to as the Mazalai in Mongolian, this unique bear is categorized as critically endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. 
Gobi bears have adapted to survive in one of the harshest environments on Earth, the Mongolian Gobi Desert. This desert stretches across southern Mongolia and northern China, covering an area of approximately 500,000 square miles, or 1,295,000 square kilometers. The Gobi Desert is characterized by its extreme temperatures, arid landscapes, and limited water sources. Within this challenging habitat, Gobi bears are restricted to a small region, largely because they need to stay close to water sources. The isolation of the Gobi bear population is a result of human settlements, non-bear grazing activities, and the generally inhospitable nature of low-elevation deserts. This separation from other brown bear populations has led to reproductive isolation, contributing to the low genetic diversity observed in Gobi bears. Genetic monitoring has estimated the current population size to be around 31 bears, with a skewed sex ratio towards males. Addicts Nomads of the Sahara Desert, addicts live in one of the most inhospitable climates on Earth. They endure extreme temperature ranges with scorching summer heat and very cold winters. Rainfall averages 3 inches per year. During periods of drought, they can go without drinking water and survive on the moisture consumed in succulent plants and wild melons. Addicts' adaptation for this arid climate include a white-colored coat that reflects heat and helps them blend into the desert landscape. As with camels, large, flexible hooves splay out to distribute weight while walking through sand. An excellent sense of smell and good peripheral vision allow addicts to track rain and head for patches of vegetation miles away. They rest during the hottest hours of the day, near bushes and rocks, or in shallow shelters they dig with their front legs, and graze when temperatures are cooler. These outcroppings also provide shelter from sandstorms. Their hooves release a scent on the ground that allows a lone addicts to find its way back to the herd. Males use spiral horns that can be 3.5 feet to spar for mating rights or to chase intruders away from the herd. These horse-like antelope are in imminent danger of extinction. Drought, hunting, and the expansion of pasture land have taken a toll on this species. Once widespread in all countries sharing the Sahara Desert, the wild population is now estimated at 30 to 90 mature individuals. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.